gatekeepers and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a wild pregnancy update with you. It's been a while since I've shared. I think it's been a couple weeks, so I'm excited. Let's get right into it. It is so crazy to me to know that I am in pre-labor right now. Like I'm in the 38 week to 40 week bracket because I don't really know based off of my last menstrual cycle I'm 38 weeks and two days but I'm measuring in the 40s so I don't know I really don't know all I know is that my baby's full term I'm ready baby is definitely head down baby is definitely engaged and I'm just like that's what I feel like. I'm just like, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to meet my baby. I love my babies. I love my children. I'm just like, oh my gosh, this was the first time that we ever waited to find out the gender. And that alone has been like the most <laughs> like exciting thing. So I'm just like, who are you? Like, like my prayers, my prayers have been obviously general and specific at the same time, if that makes any sense. But before I would be able to pray very specifically because I knew it was a boy, I knew it was a girl, whatever. But that doesn't change. God hears my prayers and I have been praying for my baby. And I'm just super excited to know who this little love is going to be. If it's a boy, if it's a girl. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. That alone has been super exciting. And now that like literally it could happen any day now, I'm just like, I'm just so excited. I, I just can't wait. I, I literally can't wait. So what have I been experiencing these past couple of weeks? So I remember sharing last time that I was experiencing like a lot of uh, pelvic pressure and pain and discomfort and stuff. And actually it's gotten much better. I know that the fact that I'm seeing a chiropractor two times a week is really helping me. And that's something that I've never done before um, during any of my pregnancies. I've always just dealt with it and just never prioritized uh, chiropractic care. So it's been super awesome having chiropractic work done while being pregnant. That's gonna be a whole other separate video. I can't wait to share all about that, especially after labor, so I can give you the more specifics of what I, how and what I believe, it, how it played into my labor and stuff like that. So um, as far as my uterine prolapse, it's pretty much stayed the same which is awesome. Thank you, Jesus, because we did not want that to prolapse or descend anymore. It's still inside, which is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Um, and I don't feel the discomfort or m much of that anymore. Um, there are definitely days. <gasps> wow, you did that? So it's funny because it's like some like like yesterday, literally yesterday, I was exhausted like it's like I wake up in the morning I have energy and then like two hours later I'm just like like oh my gosh I want to go to sleep so oh my gosh I'm, I'm like eating Mike right now but I'm like oh my gosh I want to go to sleep so bad like I just feel it on my body I just feel exhausted I'm like I just want to lay down I don't want to talk to anyone I just I just want to stay in my bed and sleep okay baby can you close the door and I'm like, oh, I just want to sleep. I'm so tired. So that's the day. And then I was feeling pelvic pressure and I was just feeling tons of pressure. Like when I would stand up, I could swear that the baby's head was right there. And I just, all I had to do was push and the baby would come out. Like that's how much pressure there was on there. And then today I woke up and I'm perfectly fine. Where it's just like, I'm full of energy. I don't feel tired at all. I'm bending and squatting and lifting and all these things and I feel 100% great so I'm like it's so funny like how our bodies can <laughs> differ from day to day but I do know that I'm definitely sure that I am in pre-labor if I could check myself I mean I I kind of learned I just I just I just feel like it's just unnecessary I did it my last uh my last uh pregnancy but I'm just like I just don't feel like it and I'm just like eh, it's not necessary but I am like 99% sure that I'm definitely dilated some and I mean dilation doesn't even really matter to me 
because that could happen in in a second i could be 10 centimeters from zero to 10 in, in a second so that doesn't really matter much to me but i know that i've definitely <laughs> been thinning out down there dilating all that stuff like i i feel it i feel it when it's happening and it's so crazy what else is new i mean there's not really much going on besides that like 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 that deep anticipation where i'm just like oh my gosh like is today the day so i'm 30 38 weeks and two days uh, i had my son valor when i was 38 weeks and five days and then victory and honor i had them both at 39 weeks and five days and then justice i had her at 41 weeks so we're just i'm just i'm here and i'm just ready and i'm excited we can get impatient you know because we're just like when is baby coming but honestly like i'm like i'm not feeling that in any bad way at all because i'm just like man you know what my body innately and intuitively and perfectly knows when to birth this baby when my baby's ready and as excited as i am and as excited as i i'll push the baby out right now live on camera like <laughs> I'm like, I'm so ready and I'm so excited. I also, I, I have the patience and I'm like, okay, I'm so excited to meet you. I want you so bad already. I want this to happen already, but I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient and I'm going to wait. You technically have, what are they? Nine, four, I can still have a month left, you know, baby still could have a month to bake if it wanted to. And I'm just here just like trying to trying to be as patient as I can because I'm just I'm just genuinely so excited I'm so excited and I know for sure that it's, a month is, is not going to be the case because of everything that I've been experiencing so yesterday I uh I I was feeling all that pressure and just like really uncomfortable so I was like I'm gonna make a labor smoothie so I made myself my famous watch your fingers buddy okay <laughs> I made myself my famous labor smoothie that is just so delicious. It was pineapple, uh, dates, coconut milk, and um, some vanilla extract. And it was just so delicious. Pineapples and dates are like to soften and ripen the cervix and stuff. And then I was in the shower with super hot water, bouncing on my birth ball, just letting the water hit me. And it just felt so great. I was relaxed. Afterward, I had knocked out slept the whole night and no contractions no sign of baby coming yet but it's just it's been great being able to take care of myself in that way and being able to listen to my body on those days where i do feel exhausted because i'm the type of person that could just be like go 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 and just like literally yes that is red yeah <laughs> i could literally just run myself into a wall and then just keep going and then break through that wall and then break through another wall like i it's so hard for me to stop and so being able to be in tune with my body and actually listening to my body, because I mean, you know, when you're not feeling well, or you know, when you need a break, but I, for some reason, I was just able to just literally push past that every single time. But this time, this pregnancy, especially the last couple of months, I've been super intentional and like, girl, like relax, respect yourself, respect your body listen to your body okay so like those days when i'm feeling exa exhausted i just go to my husband i'm like hey honey my body's telling me right now that i need to just lay down in the bed so if you can handle dinner today um handle bedtime like i'm just i'm kind of i want to i want to tap out for the rest of the day that's just what i'm feeling and as beautiful and amazing as my husband is he's like absolutely i lay in the bed the kids they come in they did they we we love each other so much so they're just like excuse you <laughs> like how dare you try to be in the room without us so they just lay on the bed and they're coloring and they're reading and playing and stuff but it just feels so good um being able to just lay down and rest and not have the responsibility of like oh, i gotta make something right now because i know that my husband could take care of that for me right now which is so awesome and beautiful and i'm extremely thankful so that is uh, let me let me before i say that's it let me look in my notebook and make sure ah, ta -ta 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 -ta. And, and then I guess just this, I've been having for the past like three weeks, I've been experiencing Braxton Hicks like insanely like there. I think four days ago, I thought was the day I'm like, oh, my gosh, like today's the day. And I was so excited because, whoa, you got a green and yellow one, buddy. 
I was having contractions literally back to back, extremely long ones that were intense and just like lingering there uh, for like six hours. And so your girl was like, I was on cloud nine. I thought that day was the day. But then around midnight, you know, I laid down and I'm just like, okay, like I'm just going to lay down and try to sleep still. Uh, They just went away. Like they just completely went away. I woke up in the morning and I'm like, okay, no baby today. Cool. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. I have nothing else to say. Wow, buddy. Awesome. So that is my wild pregnancy update. Again, I am in that 38 week to 40 week bracket. I don't know exactly. I know that my body, I know that my body has been gearing up for labor. I'm in pre-labor contractions brexton hicks whatever you want to call it have been coming like crazy coming and going i'll have them for hours on end consistently and then they stop so some might say i'm experiencing prodromal labor who really knows but all i know is that my baby's coming soon i'm super excited i cannot wait to share our birth story with you i can't wait to just oh all the things oh my gosh i love babies i'm so excited so excited so excited if you cannot tell i'm so excited (laughs) yes that's it that is my 38 to 40 week pregnancy update i hope you all enjoyed this video hopefully this will be my last and i think it is going to be my last pregnancy update because i'm not really doing it like weekly because there's not really much to update so I'm 99% sure that this is my last pregnancy update. Oh my gosh. I got to give you guys some belly shots because your girl is huge. And I know some people don't like using that word um, when it comes to pregnancy, but I like it. I'm like, the bigger, the better. Like, I love it. I'm just like, I'm huge and I love it. (laughs) It's just, it's so beautiful to me. The things that a woman's body can do. Like, it's just, women are awesome. So let me show you this belly because it's huge and large and in charge and baby's going to be here soon. So I want to make sure that you guys can see my belly. So let me show you. Thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and supporting us and caring about our family it means so much i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye